Uh, hello guys, I'm called Jingonelli and I'm going to be taking you through database models and before I begin off I'm going to require you to subscribe and also follow what I'm pointing at because I'm already having laid down information. Now what do they mean by a database? A database is a collection of related data and I'm having an illustration of a database whereby I'm having tables, the custom, customer name table, the customer ID table, products table and uh, I can call these uh, tables or entities. And then I'm having the I'm having the column which is the customer name having Nelly and Nick. Now this is going to be my field. My I can call it the customer name field or the attribute. And this can be my uh, customer ID uh, field and the products uh, field. So the entire row is what uh, I will call a record or a tuple. So uh, this this and this uh, form what is called a record. So the combination of all this is uh, what I combine and I call a database. So moving on, uh, defining some of the terms, what is entity? So entity is a generalized class of people, uh, places, all things for which data are collected, stored, and maintained. For, for example, a customer. Then we're having an attribute or field uh, is a characteristic of an entity. That is to say uh, something the entity is identified by, for example, customer name. Then I'm having a key. A key is a set of fields in a record that is used to identify the record in a database. Uh, then I'm having a tuple or a record is a group of related fields. Then moving on, uh, importance of a record in organizations. Uh, they simplify the research and utilization of information in an organization. Then uh, it helps in monitoring the progress of the business operation. Well, so they can take quick and uh, appropriate steps if a problem occurs. And also it assists in uh, organizing organizational data, such as employees' bios of the organization, uh, customer bio data, list of products, etc. Then uh, it helps in keeping the organization's data uh, security because uh, any data can be protected by a uh, provided a uh, login and a uh, password for each data then uh, uh important c5 the database can uh, help to determine uh, a better strategy for the advancement of an organization in the future then uh, looking at the database models uh, this is a collection of logical constructs it comes from the word uh, construction are used to represent data structures and uh, relationships within the database. And then uh, there are three main categories of data models in which we can uh, categorize uh, data models. Yeah? So these are the three categories where we are having the high level of conceptual data model. And with this, this deals with the logical nature of the data representation. Then we are having the representational or implementation data models this emphasizes on how the data are represented in the database. Then we are having the low level or physical data model. Uh, this represents how data are stored, scattered, and uh, retrieved from the memory. Then uh, we are having uh, types of data models. We are having a hierarchical model, then a network model, uh, relational data model, entity relationship model, then object-oriented data database model, which is the you can call it ODBMS or the OODBMS. Then we are having uh, the relationships in uh, conceptual models, which include one to one, which is represented by one to one, then one to many, which is represented as one to M, then uh, many to many, which is represented as uh, M to N. Then uh, moving on, uh, the categories of data models. Uh, we having uh, under each category having uh, different types underneath it and with high level or conceptual data model we are having the entity relationship data model and uh, with the representation or implementation data model we are having the relational data model and also the hierarchical data model and also the network data model now under the low level of physical data model we don't have any type of data model under it and uh, for the sake of our class, we are only going to look at these two categories at uh, the high level and the implementation of data model. So moving on, uh, looking at the hierarchical data model, what does it mean? Hierarchical data model uh, organizes data in a tree-like structure and supports one-to-many. Uh, that is uh, 
to say like uh, the parent child relationship so here one important factor of hierarchical data model is that each child node will have a single parent node um, for example if we have a company and that company has multiple departments each department will be having multiple employees so this is uh, an illustration here so i'm having a my company and i'm having different departments it department marketing department and finance department whereby i'm having employee a b c d e and f so one employee cannot work in another department so moving on uh looking at the advantages of hierarchical we are having conceptual simplicity meaning it is a simple and straightforward and a natural method of implementing record relationship then uh, it is uh, very useful in a uh, small organization with a hierarchical characteristic in the database then the disadvantages we are having complex impl implement implementation so for this it is it, this is because uh, data is in a tree like structure and then uh, two we are having difficult to manage and lack of standards so if uh, if a change is made in the data it will affect the rest of the data so it will mean that it is difficult to manage because of this so then we're having a lack of structural data independency then uh, this looks like uh, this is because one can only retrieve a child only after uh, going through its parent in ICT we can uh, use terms like child and parent um, thank you so much for watching uh, make sure you subscribe and also so that you can get uh, notifications to other data type models.